Hey everybody, it's me, Chris. I'm back over here in the kitchen, finally. It's been a while since I posted a video, but we moved out of state. We're finally getting settled down here in the new house. So it's time to come back and start making some more videos. And I thought I'd start with a frittata video, which was the very first video we made. Uh, this one is a, a simpler version. This one's gonna have just potato and onion and some cheese, which is probably the most requested dish I, I get from friends and family to make, because everybody just seems to love this. It's really simple, but you gotta have the right ingredients. So let me show you what I got. All right, so to make this frittata, I got six eggs here. These are, these are extra large eggs. I got one onion, I won't use the whole thing. And this is a sweet type of a dahlia type onion. I got about a quarter cup of uh, cheddar cheese. I just cut it into small quarter inch uh, cubes. I got about the same amount of pecorino grated cheese. I got, of course, some salt and pepper and extra virgin olive oil it is a key ingredient to make a great frittata. And then these are my potatoes. These are baby red potatoes. You know, they're not too starchy. And these are already cooked, I boil them. And what you wanna do is cover them with water, boil them for about 10 minutes till they're fork tender, and then plunge them into ice and let them drain. And if you don't plunge them into ice to stop the cooking, they'll just get too mushy. So here's how I did the potatoes, and I knew they were done because they fell right off the fork when I tried to pick them up. Just plunge them into some ice and cold water and stop the cooking, and then you can drain them and they're ready to use. All right, so the first thing we want to do is cut our onion. And this is a pretty good size onion. It's medium size onion. So I'm just going to use half. So I cut off the ends. I cut it in half. And then I'm just going to peel that first outer layer. Just like this. Okay. And I can set this aside for now. And then what you want to do is uh, you're looking for you want a nice uh, thin slice to your onion, so just as thin as you can get it. All right, so my onion is done, and I'm just gonna set this aside. And, you know, I just wanna get everything ready to go before I start cooking. And you probably heard me say it before, that's, that's called your mise en place. That's everything in its place. And now I'm gonna cut the potatoes. I'm using this little cup here because I know I wanna get about a, about a cup of potatoes for this size frittata. You don't wanna have too many, but you definitely wanna have enough to have potato in every bite. And I'm gonna make these into, depends on how big you want them, but probably about closer to a half inch piece, just about like that. And I'm gonna fill this up to about a cup. All right, so that looks pretty good, and then probably a little bit more than a cup, but that's okay, and it's as much as you want. And then the other reason I like these potatoes is you could just leave the skin right on. It's good to eat. It's, it, it's, uh, it's not chewy at all, and uh, it's just great in this dish. All right, so I'm just going to crack my eggs, and you always use a nice clear glass bowl when you're cracking eggs. This way you can see if you get any shells in there. And what I like to do, what I always teach people is, you know, if you, you could either crack them on a flat surface and that'll give you a nice clean break. Or what I like to do, because I, I worry about the contamination, I like to crack them on the inside, the flat inside of the bowl. And I, I tend to use a, a much larger bowl than I actually need. It just gives me a little bit of room. And you'll see when you crack them like that, it kind of just, the whole egg comes out really easy. And you don't get the yolk broken. It's just, you don't get a lot of shells. So that's kind of just the way I always do it. Okay. I'm going to set this aside and just wash my hands real quick. All right, so we'll just come back and now we'll season these eggs. Nice bit of fresh cracked black pepper. Just like that. Okay. Nice pinch of kosher salt. Not too much because the cheese is salty. And then I'm just going to dump my grated cheese right in there. And then I'll just give this a good mix. Break all the yolks. Just like that. And combine it until it's really well mixed. All right, so once your eggs are mixed, 
We've got everything we need. We're ready to go to the stove and start to cook our frittata. All right, so I'm gonna turn the stove on to, to medium heat, maybe medium high, and just start to heat up my pan a little bit. Just let it start to get hot. And now you wanna add a good, a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil. And again, this is a, this is a 10 inch nonstick pan, okay? You want about a couple tablespoons in there because that really is what flavors the dish. And then I'm gonna add my onion. That's my sliced onion, and I'm gonna add my potatoes, and I'm just gonna start to cook these together. And what I wanna do is, well, I'll make sure I use a nice rubber spatula like this. And really two things I'm trying to do here, I wanna get the onions to get cooked down and caramelized and bring out some of the natural sugar, let them get sweet. And I want to brown the potatoes a little bit. So while that starts to go, I'm also going to season here a little bit. And then for these, you know, same deal, just a little pinch of salt. And then just a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. And, you know, take your time here. This is an important step because this is where you really develop the flavor of the, the sweet flavor of the onions. And... You get some nice browning on the potatoes and just let this start to go a little bit. And then while this starts to cook, I'm going to put the broiler on in my oven because I'm going to finish this frittata in the oven. And just got to make sure you have a pan that can go inside the oven. Uh, it's not going to be in there for long. We just want to finish cooking the top. I'll show you that in a few minutes. So this is only cooking a couple of minutes, but you can see, kind of see what's happening here starting to take on some nice color, some caramelization. I'm just going to let this keep going. I want to get a little more browning and I want to make sure the onions are really cooked down and nice and sweet and caramelized completely. All right, so this looks good. I think we're ready. I'm kind of just going to spread this out a little bit. And now I'm ready to add my eggs. And I always, I like to use a spatula. I want to make sure I get everything out of there, okay? Don't leave anything behind. Get all your eggs right in there. All right, that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to add my diced cheese. And again, just not too much. I mean, you don't want to overdo it with the cheese. You got the grated cheese in there. And then just start to mix this around. Come from the outside through the middle. And you're going to basically, before you get this in the oven, this thing's going to be at least halfway, three quarters of the way cooked. And we just need to brown the top at that point. So, okay, so this is all going to be combined and starting to come together. Okay. And then once it looks like to really start to set up and mostly solid in the center here, which you can see it is, I'll just kind of flatten it off. And I'm just going to leave it there for a couple minutes and I'll show you what I'm looking for. But just to let the bottom really get a nice crust. And then we'll put it in and into the oven on the broil and finish the top. And then, so one of the things I like to do, if you've got a pan like this that has a, a plastic handle, you could just grab a piece of foil if, you, if you're worried about it melting or burning, because it's only gonna be in there for a minute or two. And just cover up the handle like that. This way you could protect your pan you don't really need it with most of them, but you never know, so. All right, now what I'm looking for here is I just wanna check the edge and I wanna see how the browning looks. And you can see there some nice browning start to happen underneath. All right, so I'm just gonna let this go just another 60 seconds and then I'm gonna take it and pop it in the oven under the broiler to let it finish. All right, so I put it in the oven and you notice I put it on the bottom rack. I don't want it too close to those heating elements because it'll burn. So you just slowly want to brown the top and when it's nice and golden brown, you're going to take it out. It should only take a couple minutes, so don't go away go, or it'll burn on you. Uh, but uh, just going to close the door and it'll be done in a couple minutes. All right, so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. And you can see it's really nicely golden brown. I mean, it's cooked perfect. So 
we can't eat this yet. You got to let it cool off and you want to give it kind of a chance to set up, but just use your spatula to help and you can just transfer it right to your cutting board. All right, we'll let this hang out for about 10 minutes and then we'll cut it. All right, so this is ready. I'm going to cut a piece and I want to show you what this looks like. And that's it. You can see it's just perfectly set up and there's just a good ratio of egg to potato to cheese, the onion. So that's exactly what I was looking for. I'm extremely happy with the way this came out. And you know, probably the great thing about, you know, frittatas is that you could have it anytime. You could have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You could have it hot or cold. You could have it room temperature. It could stay out on a, on a cool day. It could stay out all day. You can take it on a picnic. So, you know, uh, and most importantly, it's just, it's delicious. The flavor is just incredible. Um, and I think that's why it's so many people's favorites. So there you have it. This is the frittata with potato and onion. I hope you try it, I hope you make it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for checking this one out, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.